Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Privies and Prims Needle Crafts and it is mostly about cross stitch. I do sometimes do punch needle and there are three years of punch needle videos on my channel because I just started doing cross stitch in November 22. So before that all I did was like wool applique and punch needle. So if you're here for the punch needle, go to my home page on my YouTube channel and click on playlist. And there are three years worth of videos on there for punch needle. I will be doing some more punch needle soon, but I, I do it now for a shop owner for the shepherd's needle for their shop samples. And she is getting ready to go to market. So she's super busy and hasn't sent me anything yet, but there will be some awesome patterns coming that I'll be doing punch needle. So welcome to everybody new and returning. I appreciate each of you being here. I've got two fully finished today to show you and one that's finished and ready to be framed. These are all cross stitched today. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about. So um, one thing first I want to show you is a light. I, if you've been following me, I had some issues with my lights. Um, first the pole lamp, the cord got caught under my recliner and, um, took it down to the wires. So I had to work, get a new cord for that, which worked out great. And then, um, it was a bright tech lamp. And then I had a bright tech portable lamp desk lamp that I would take with me when I go to stitching groups and things, and it's wireless USB. Well, that quit on me also right around the same time. And it was under warranty and they were going to replace it, except that they don't carry it anymore. They don't make a wireless USB one anymore. So I had to find a different one. So I went on Amazon and this is just a cheapy, um, you know, brand from China. It's not any name brand, but it is USB rechargeable right here. It does not use, um, your standard little USB plug. It's got this round one, but the other end of it is the, um, Oh gosh, I guess it's USB. It's like a rectangle that plugs into the side of your computer or the plug that goes into the wall. And it comes with that cord because it goes in here, but it also comes with the wall plug and it can detach from that. So if you had something else, like a little power pack, you could plug it into that. So um, I wanted to use it a while before I gave a review. It only has an on and an off. Let me show you with that. Hopefully it doesn't blind you there. So you can see it's on and off. Now the Bright Tech one had three different, it was like dimmer light, but I always used the one on high anyway. So it didn't really matter. This is very flexible. So you can bend it like I put it in my carrying bag and I actually bend it all the way down here. Now I have a little sleeve thing cover that I put over it and put this up so you can see. So I just put this over like that and then pull the strings and tie it in a little bow. Now, the reason you want to do that is extremely important because it is a magnifying glass. And if you happen to have it sitting somewhere and forget and the sun is shining in your window or you're outside and the sun is shining through this magnifying glass, it can start a fire and it has happened to people. Not this particular lamp, it's any magnifying lamp. So you want to make sure you always cover them when you're not using them. Uh, I'm thinking this was around $30 or maybe $35, but I'm going to post the link. I got it on Amazon. Um, I did use it yesterday. I went to my rug hooking group and um, I was using it for about two hours and it didn't lose any dimness. So that is what's important to me. So I'm very happy with that because I had tried another one before I wrote to Bright Tech and within an hour it was fading. So, and it tells you in the description, it's important to read that. It tells you in the description on the listing that if you put it on high, it will only stay for an hour and then it starts to dim, which is not any good for me when I'm going to a stitching group, but it doesn't have any names on it or anything, but I'm gonna post the Amazon link down below in the description box. And if you're interested in that, I, I do recommend it. I've only used it a couple times at stitching groups, but so far it's worked well for me. So I would say, yes, I recommend it. So that is the first thing. Um, I have some sticky kindness or happy mail, whatever. So 
I did go to my rug hooking group yesterday, only I wasn't rug hooking. I was doing cross stitch because I've got a bunch of stuff I have to get done before my retreat. And one of my friends, um, I missed the December Christmas meeting and she had these for me. And so she gave me, gave them to me yesterday. Little pot holders that she made and they have little campers on them. Are they not adorable? It's got the vintage camper and then the other side is here and I told her like I don't want to use them because they're so cute but she said no no use them you can wash them so I thought that was adorable and this is the color that's in my camper so I got those from a friend and then I got a package in the mail and it is from Sheila um she said I enjoy your content on your YouTube channel and this is a small way to get back so thank you, Sheila. And I'm going to show you what she sent to me. I don't have these things laying here in order. So my bad. And I think this is everything. I might have taken something out and separated it, but I think this is everything. So this one, I am definitely going to stitch. My soul is fed with needle and thread by heart and hand. Isn't that cute? So it's just a little thing. Definitely want to do that one. And some of these I'll be using at the retreat. I am hosting a retreat in the middle of March in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. It is full with 40, 40 gals, um, but I do have a waiting list and it's not a long waiting list. So if you're interested, go to my Facebook page, Privies and Prims, and the event for it is pinned at the top of the page. So um, this one is Silver Creek Samplers, and it says, Do not worry, birds do not sow or reap, yet the Lord God feeds them. And there is that one. So we do bingo at the retreat, and so some of these are going to be bingo prizes. So there's that one. And Hands on Design, Knee High by the 4th of July. I've seen this pattern before. I've heard people talk about it. It's called Knee High. And Stacy Nash Spring Chickens Pin Keep. Isn't that cute? Stacy Nash, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It seems she does a lot of chickens. Maybe she has chickens on a farm. You'll have to tell me in the comments. Um, Silver Creek Samplers. This one says Sweet Cup of Liberty, but it's T-E-A. And at the bottom, I think it says Strong and Free. It shows up better on the camera. It's actually easier to read than it is in person. But that is um, Silver Creek Samplers. So patriotic pattern. And then this is All Through the Night. Um... Jolly Jack, get your Halloween pattern, and this one, there is one that I'm definitely going to make in this one, I, I, I want to be greedy, I don't want to share this one, which I can, I can, I mean, I can be greedy, when people send me these things, you know, they tell me I can keep what I want or share what I don't want. So this one, um, I'm a little indecisive about, I think I might hold on to it. So sweet land of Liberty, blackbird designs. I want to make that right there. Can you see that? I like smalls. I also love this one, but that's a lot. And I love smalls. So I probably, and then there's this one. They're all good. And there's that one again. I definitely want to make that one. So let me see what else we have in here. So oh, here's a, a big picture of it there. And it is, hmm, finish size is four and seven eighths by four and a half. And this is a larger. Well, let me cover the top of this. A larger picture of that one. There's an alphabet chart above it, so I had to cover it. And then I guess 
see if this is the same one. Yeah, this is the same one actually, only bigger. American Eagle. Getting light glare on there when I shine it on there. I'm sorry about that. This is called In Full Glory. Isn't that pretty? I know a lot of people like Blackbird designs. And this one, Salute to Abigail. Oh, for John Adams to his wife, Abigail. So this is Salute to Abigail. And it's got her name down here. That pretty. That's something I probably will not do just because there's so much involved. I don't like to do big patterns. Um, and I will show you proof of that in a little bit. And this one is called Liberty Rose. I like the soft colors in this one. Is that pretty? But the only one I can tell you that I am definitely going to make is that one. And then I will probably pass this on. But I do want to hold on to it until I make that. So um, I think that is everything. Um, unless I took something aside. And if I did, I apologize. So thank you, Sheila, for that. Um, and then I have, for the retreat, we also like to do door prizes. And I have reached out to a few designers and different people asking if they would like to donate for the door prizes. Um, last year, we had the Nebby Needle, um, the Prepper Stitcher, and Teresa Kogut. And I think they were the ones that donated. I know they donated, but I'm not sure if there were more. If there was, I apologize if I missed you. Um, but this year I have a project bag coming from one of my viewers. I have a project bag coming from Dot Dot Goose, Denise. And I'll show these things when I get them, but they haven't arrived yet. And I think Tuesday, I got an email notification Tuesday. I have some things arriving from Primrose Cottage. So I'm excited to see those. Now, I did get this from... Um, uh, Teresa, Teresa's Primitive Treasures and Bird in the Hand Primitives. This is a collaboration with them. So um, I reached out to Robin at Bird in the Hand Primitive. She's a friend of mine and um, asked her if she would like to donate one of her books. So this is brand new for them. And this has, I think, 12 different designs in it. So I'm going to hold it closer so you can see. Now, these are just line drawings. And you can do punch needle, wool applique, cross stitch, any way you want to do them. This one is actually a cross stitch pattern. It is the only cross stitch pattern in here. This one is punch needle with the snowman. And I think that one is punch needle. So let me see. This book is available in their Etsy shop. Um, I believe it should be in both Etsy shops. So Teresa's is Teresa's Prim Treasures .etsy .com, and Robin's is Bird in the Hand Prims .etsy .com, And I will put them down in the description so that you can um, go there if you're interested in the book. So um, I can't actually show you inside. I think it's, it's all, well, wait, here's some pictures. Okay, so this is by Bird in the Hand Prims, and this is a punch needle, the snowman on a wool stocking. So cute. That is one of the patterns. Okay, there are color pictures in here, so I can show you. This is the cross stitch from Teresa's Prim Treasures. And Millie, Merry Christmas. And if, the, if it looks familiar to you, it's because I just recently put, um, stitched one of Teresa's patterns and it has Miss Millie in it and it has the sheep. And I'll post a picture of it here for you. And that is available in her Etsy shop, I think. Maybe. No, I'm not sure. But I got it from Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. But this one is in this book. And then this is Hand Embroidery. And this is by Teresa uh, um, Teresa's Prim Treasures. That's hand embroidery. And her husband and her son make those wooden boxes. They're slider boxes. So they make those and she sells them in her Etsy shop. So 
So look for those there. This one is by Robin, Bird in the Hand Trims. And this is a little wool applique and a little embroidery. So that's a combination. And she's got it on a hanger. So that's what is in this book. And then this is a punch needle by Robin at Bird in the Hand Trims. It's got a whale in a bottle. Very unique design. And then this one is um, designed by Robin and model is hooked by Michelle Robinson. And this is Bird in the Hand Primitives design. Another nautical one. So I do appreciate Robin and Teresa donating this. So it will be a door prize giveaway. Now this is a flower and bee pin keep. And I thought by the picture it was punch needle, but it's not. It's more of a wool applique kind of. It's kind of like a circular penny rug. And then you make the bee out of wool and it clamps on your table. Now I use a pin cushion out next to my recliner and it's one of Teresa's designs and it clamps um, I used to have it up on here and then I thought, well, gosh, I might as well use it instead of just decorator. So I put it out next to my recliner and I use it all the time now. That's where I keep my needles in it for when I'm stitching. So this is Robin at Bird in the Hand Primitives and it is another punch needle. So it's important. I'm glad I get to show you these because when you go on the Etsy shop and see the book, you don't get to see like all these color pictures. This one is a hooked rug, A Warm Winter Heart by Teresa Miller. And this is um, Teresa's Primitive Treasures design. And it's kind of dark, but it's hard to see. But there's like pennies at the top, like a penny rug. Hopefully you can see that. So all of these designs are in this book. This is A Warm Winter Heart Wool Applique by Teresa Miller. Teresa's Prim Treasures. That would be super easy to make. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone in this book. And again, this is what it looks like. So this will be a door prize at the retreat, but if you're not going to the retreat or you don't want to like chance not getting it and you definitely want it, go to their Etsy shops and you can purchase it. Uh, let me see what else I have. I have, I have put on my Facebook page and if, you don't follow me on Facebook, it's a good idea to go over there because I post on there just about every day and it's Privies and Prims on Facebook. And I posted that for the retreat I am doing, our theme for the Smalls Exchange is patriotic. So I put on there to vote which one was your favorite to um, for me to do for the small. So let me gather my things. And I should have had it already. And I know it's here. I just have to get out. Oh, okay. So this one is Lucy Beam. It's called Long May You Stitch. Now this was in Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine 2023 Summer. And if you don't get that magazine and this looks familiar to you, it's because this is one of her Nashville releases. This is her new release coming up for the Nashville Needle Work Market. But you can get it if you have the magazine, Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine 2023 Summer. So that was one of the ones to vote on. This one got the second most amount of votes. And this was another one. And this is from Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine, also Summer 2023. And this one got the most votes. And this is called Use Flag. And it's E-W-E-S by Whitley Quimby of Sugar Maple Designs. That one got the most votes. I think because it has a sheep. And people love sheep. And then the other one was. And I'm going to take it out of the package. Now this one actually has one, two, five different designs to vote on. So you've got this little, I think it's a spool of thread with the um, sunflower coming out. And I love this little lady. I'm going to make her 
I'm going to stitch her. I think I'm going to stitch that one. And then over here, there's three more. This one is an eagle with a sunflower. And this is Brenda Gervais, red, white, and bloom. And then there's Uncle Sam here. And then the eagle with red, white, and blue. So I think I'm going to stitch this one and this one. And those are my favorites. And um, I'm going to stitch this one. Yeah, I've got all this time. I'm hoping. I've got big goals. This is why I didn't do rug hooking yesterday. I did cross stitch. And I want to stitch this one. So, and then I will decide which one will be the smallest exchange. But I wanted to see which one was everybody's favorite. And it was the sheep. And then the long menu stitch was second place. So that, again, is going to be... I mean, you can get it, Punch Needle Primus Stitcher, Summer Magazine 2023, or it's a new release coming out at market. All right, um, I have a finish that I cannot show on Facebook, and I hope that they do not watch this video. My son and his fiance are getting married March 20th. I will be in Philadelphia for that. I have to drive up to Philadelphia, and um, they're getting married in a park in Philadelphia where there's a love sculpture. It has like L-O and then V-E underneath it. So you can do this package thing. They give you an officiant and everything. So that's where they're getting married. And um, let me get my board here. So when I was up there in December, we went to, uh, because I wanted to go, we went to, um, I think, Stitches Unlimited. Um, cross stitch store in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's where I was. That's where my son lives. And I told him and his fiance to pick, you know, there's samples all over the walls. And I said, pick one out that you like. Well, they're super modern. Like everything in their house is gray and black and, you know, white and super modern where I'm super primitive, not super, but I'm primitive. So they picked out or his fiance actually picked out a pattern and this is what she picked out. It's my working copy, so it's all been up. Um, there's the From the Heart. Now, because they're not into cross stitch, she looked at it and said, why is there an alphabet at the top? Because she didn't understand that, you know, the samplers have the alphabet. Well, she didn't want the alphabet. So they were thinking about what they were going to put on there. So I was just going to take that out and move the top border down. But then they saw my post on Facebook that I had said that, and they said, no, we don't want you to just leave it blank. We want something in there. So they said they wanted their wedding date in there. So I did that. And again, hopefully they don't see this. They've seen some of the stitching, but then I got to a certain point and I stopped showing it because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. So this is my finish. So I put their... Um, date up there and then I put their initials down here and then there was like this spot right here so I put a heart so that and I charted those letters I think it's crossstitch.com and it's a free thing where you can type in words and it will chart it for you you don't have to download anything at all it's just um that's what it is so I think this is really pretty. I did have to outline the house a little bit um, because the fabric is so light. And the tree, this big tree over here, was kind of an odd shape. You can see in the picture how there's like, it almost looks like there's a bite taken out of it here. So I was trying to make it a little more rounded. So I did alter the tree some. And it is all called for colors DMC. And um, the linen is a 30 count. Okay, so the linen I got at a thrift store and it's, I think it's an even weave. I haven't looked it up, but that's the tag that was on it. And they didn't want primitive fabric. They didn't want dark. They wanted something light. And I thought that this, um, it's, it's a pretty good match to the color that's on the pattern. Now, I actually don't, I didn't like stitching on this. I, I like a, you can see through it. Like if I hold this up, well, I don't know how much you're seeing, but 
there you see my hand and everything like you can see through this and I could actually stitch this without a magnifier. I did use a magnifier just because it's easier, but I, I could probably stitch this without a magnifier. Um, and I do believe it's an even weave, but I don't really care for fabrics that are that open of a weave. I like things that are closed that you can't see like carryover threads and stuff. Cause I do carry over. I mean, I, I don't want to keep ending thread and starting again and trying to tuck it in behind stitches. And it's just, I think it's more time consuming. And so I, I mean, this was the good color and everything, but I, I don't really care for it. And so, but I'll use it because, you know, I think I paid a couple dollars for that. So that's a few videos back on my haul of, um, what I got. So, and then I tried a five by seven frame for this and it does not fit a five by seven. And I don't know how an eight by 10 is. I don't have an empty eight by 10, but I'm going to have to take it to the store with me and try to match it up to a frame because they're not into like putting it on something rusty and crusty as somebody says. Um, they, they would just want it framed. And then I really, really hope they're not watching this because I want to show it to you. Um, before I had to, decided to put their initials and the date and everything on there, I saw one on, um, Instagram that somebody had and I really liked it. But then I realized that that was also a sampler because I messaged them and asked them who the designer was. And I realized, well, that's also a sampler and they're not going to want the letters on it. So the person that stitched that one said to me, well, maybe you'll want to check out this one. And I did, and I loved it, and I bought it. I went, I called my LNS, and they had it in stock, and I went and bought it. So I, I have so much to do before the retreat, and then the wedding is like the retreat is Thursday through Sunday, and the wedding is the next Wednesday. So I don't know that I'll get this done by then. This may be a Christmas present for next year, but and I don't even know because they're so modern, and I don't get upset like if I give something to somebody and I'm going to say oh my gosh I did all that work and they stuck it in the closet if that's what they do that's what they do I am going to enjoy stitching it and I hope that they like it and they want to display it but they might not because they're super modern like I said but I'll use like a more modern frame and everything that I would normally use because I would normally use a distressed frame but anyway this is Silver Creek Samplers and it's called Built on Love and I just thought this was so cute. And I'm going to do a dark, like a barn red on the word together. Um, she Red is her favorite color. And it says, so, and, and so together they built a life they loved. And then up here you put their initials and it has a heart. And then you put the wedding date. So I thought I've got the colors here. And I thought this would be a great for them because it says they built a life they loved. They both love to travel. Right now they are in Taiwan. They got there yesterday. Um, she is from Taiwan and they're visiting her family until like the first week of March. So they're there for a couple of weeks and then they'll go back again in September. Um, and so they, they've been together for four years and they're just really sweet couple madly in love. I, this might be a Christmas present, but and again, I hope they don't watch this. Um, they follow me. I know uh, they see like my Instagram posts, so I can't, I have to be really careful what I post. All right. So I have, um, let me show you something I bought Hobby Lobby yesterday. Whoops. And it says taking it one stitch at a time and it's on both sides. And there's the inside and it's only $4.99. So I think it's really cute and it's a good size mug and it's heavy. It's good quality. And I sent it pictures to my friend Rhonda at Asbury Echoes and said, look at my new mug. And she sent me a picture back of hers. <laughs> she was drinking tea out of the same exact mug. So that was funny. We had a little giggle over that. Um, so let me go. I'm going to show you another fully finished. So this one is from, I'm doing Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine a lot. This is My Soul is Fed, designed by Gail Rieger, R-E-G-E-R, of Abbey Rose Designs. 
And this is 2015 Fall Primitive Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And you can see how they made it to hold their threads, but I don't do that with my threads. I use um, the bobbins, you know, these things. So, um, but the pattern, I liked what it said. And so this is my finish. Let me hop it up. Got a string on it. There it is. So better light without the board. Yeah. So it says, my soul is fed by my needle and thread. I, and this is the back, how I finished it. Um, I cut through the back to do my stuffing and then I whip stitch it closed. I put a piece of wool over it and then my label. And I always want to share that my labels are from Ever Emblem. And they are on Etsy. And then they also have their own website. And they come white. And then I coffee stain them to match um, my stuff. So I got out all my... Let me show you that fabric. I love that fabric. It's got birds on it. I, I got out all my trim and kind of like held it around it and everything. This is stitched on walnut stained prairie cloth. See, that's what I like. A nice thick cloth and stitched one over two. And I got all my trims out, put them around it and nothing that I had looked right. I just, I couldn't find anything. It would look good with this, but it wouldn't look good here. And I couldn't find one. So I just, I'm just going to leave it plain. So I got this little pin and someone had gifted me that charm of the scissors. And then I just had this old pin, uh, button, sorry. And I just put that on there because it kind of matched the color. But I honestly, this is a called for colors and I am not crazy about this color combination. I'm, I should have probably changed it. And it got like, you know, a lot of likes and comments online that everybody liked it. But I, I think the wording needed to be a different color. I, I just, I'm not crazy about it, but I do like the pillow came out good and it, I just stuffed it with fiber fill. So that's quick, easy one. Um, I do have a short video, you know, where they're real short of me stitching part of this here. If you wanted to see, cause I do the sewing method and everybody always says, Oh, you're so fast. And then when they see, I do the sewing method. Oh, that's why you're fast. Okay. So it's a lot easier for me. I'm going to show some giveaway, do some giveaways here from last time. And then I have, um, one more fully finished to show you. That's my big ta-da thing. Um, but I'm going to do my giveaways. So on January 30th, I did a video and I had a $5 gift card that I was giving away. I was just wanting to see how many comments I could get on my video. And for anybody that commented, they were entered in to win a $5 gift card. Well, I announced the name of the winner twice and she did not get back to me. So I just drew it again and uh, for a different winner and Pamela Smith 6306 you are the winner of the five dollar gift card for Amazon so get in touch with me and that is privies at yahoo.com or you can message me on Instagram Doreen Brannon dot privies and prims or on Facebook privies and prims um, so that goes with all these prize winners okay then we had, because it was our 4,000, yay, giveaway. Oh, I remember something else I have to show you. So, okay. So um, 4,000 subscribers giveaway. And thank you to everyone that clicked on that button. And I think before I started this video, I was at 4,084. So it's growing really quickly. And then we get to 5,000, we'll do another giveaway, a big, bigger giveaway. Um, so heartstring samplery. This was one of the patterns I was giving away. And you had to put the number one if you were interested. And the winner is Linda E-S-C-U-E-889. I don't know how to say that. So Linda, congratulations. Get in touch with me and I will get this in the mail to you. And then Plum Street Samplers. This is So Sisters. This was another giveaway. And the winner of that one is Quilt Ma. And I just talked to her last night. 
So um, I will get in touch with her. I think she has one before, so I probably have her address. And then Country Cottage Needleworks. This was with faith in our hearts and a love all our own. Together we've made a place we call home. That was one giveaway. And the winner is Chris with a K, Bolton, B-O-U-L-T-O-N, 856. And I do use a random comment picker for these. I do not pick them myself. It is a website that I go to. Now the other one is six patterns together and these are all a series of the 12 days of Christmas. And a lot of people wanted to win these. I had a lot of comments for that one. The winner is Janice. I don't even know how to say this. Janice J. Giel, K. Y. Miller 6869. So congratulations, Janice. Get in touch with me and I will get these in the mail to you. So those are the giveaways from last time. Um, so what I just remembered is I want to talk to you about this linen. And I talked about this on my last video. And you can see it's got the thick threads through it. This is an upholstery linen from Joann's in case you haven't watched my videos before. And this is what Asbury Echoes uses on all of hers. And it's what I used on um, my uh, little Miss Millie with the, with the sheep. And I really, really like it. Now, this is $49.99 a yard at Joann's, which sounds way expensive. Now, keep in mind, it's 54 inches wide. So you are going to get a lot of stitching with this. Right now, it's on a doorbuster sale. And um, I will put the link down below in the description box. It's probably only through midnight tomorrow. Today is Sunday. I think it's February 18th. And so tomorrow is President's Day. So I'm thinking this is a President's Day sale. But it is on doorbuster for $29.99. You cannot use any other coupons with that. So $29.99 and um, there is a code on there for shipping that you would get shipping for $3.99 because they don't have it in my store. I have to order it. So I ordered a yard and this is, I mean, it's four layers thick. This is just a yard and it's this big. So if I open it up, it's fold it in half white long ways and vertically and horizontally it's a lot a lot of fabric so for one cross stitch well actually two i'm going to get out of that one piece right there because i cut it to make the miss millie and then i have another piece that i actually am going to do the one that I showed you, the patriotic one with the sheep. So that's my next stitch that I'm going to start today. Um, but if you like primitives, this is awesome. Now it is, it's a 36 count. I measured it. It's a 36 count and it is upholstery linen, but it's very soft and it's not real thick. It's, it's thicker than regular linen, but it's very soft and easy to stitch on. And it, as long as you don't mind those random thick, um, threads going through there, then it's good. So I would say if you're thinking about it, grab a yard of it and try it. And then the next time it goes on sale, you can buy more. I would never pay the $50 a yard for it because Joanne's always has sales. Um, but anyway, I'll post the link down below. And like I said, it's doorbuster sale. So it's probably over tomorrow at midnight when the holiday's over. So definitely check that out. Okay, the next one is I showed you, I was working on this, The Egg Collector by Teresa Kogut. I changed the dress to blue and I used Weeks Dye Works Jaybird and the grass I used Weeks Dye Works Kudzu. Everything else is DMC. I don't like to stitch big projects. So I got to this and it was frustrating, first of all, because the pattern didn't match up and Teresa's working with me on that. But because I still want to have it fully, you know, I'm probably going to pass this on at the retreat. And um, I don't think I'll stitch it again. But I bought this last year right after market. 
and I got to the point where I was doing the tree and stuff and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I lost the joy of it and I just did not want to do it. And, you know, Rhonda from Asbury Echoes talked to me and she said, no, you've got too much work in it. And I said, I'll just cut it off and throw that piece away and use the rest of the linen. But then I said, well, maybe I'll do it. I'll do it as a giveaway at the retreat and somebody else can finish it. I just didn't want to do it. But then I looked at it and I thought, wait a minute. All I had done was the bunny and the tree. And so I thought, I'll do a stand up and I'll make it curved like this. And I just won't do this. So I'll do a stand up of this. Then I came in my room, my craft room. And this happens very often. I have one plan and I end up doing something different. And I had this basket. So... I laid it on the basket and there it is. It fit perfectly on the basket. Now I paid a dollar for this basket. Do you see that textured finish? It was already like that. When I went to Pennsylvania, I was in a thrift store and I paid a dollar for that. And it's got this handle on it. So it's flat back. So it hangs on the wall. And this is what I did. So I put a piece of warm and natural behind this. I sprayed, he used um, Elmer spray adhesive. I just buy it at Walmart. And uh, then I folded the linen. This is a 36 count mystery linen. I don't know what it is, but um, it is walnut stained or coffee stained. I'm not sure which, but anyway, so this is the J Bird Weeks Dye Works, and it's a very subtle um, variegation because I went all the way across and all the way back and all the way across and all the way back. I didn't do little individual X's. And then the grass, I did the same way, and it's kudzu. So I did all what I just said, you know, folded it back, ironed it, and folded it back. Then I hot glued it. Well, before I did that, I put the Rick Rack on. The Rick Rack is called Rustic Burgundy and it's from Purple Paper Mountain on Etsy. And um, I very carefully hot glued that on there, very carefully, before it was attached to the basket. And then at the corners where it puckers a little bit, I decided to put buttons on to hide that. And also they joined the piece, the, the beginning and end joined here and I couldn't get it to look really neat. So I decided to cover with buttons and the buttons don't even match. They're different buttons, uh, but it doesn't matter. The color is almost the same. So then I glued the whole thing, hot glued it to the basket. And so what I did is on the raised parts of the basket, that's where I put the glue, like here, 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 and then went down the edges with the hot glue. So that's hot glue to it. Then I went to Michael's yesterday and I got these flowers. Now these are two different bundles. I tried just one pink and it looked like it was too empty. And then I hold it back. Then I tried another pink with it and it looked like it was overpowering. So then I put the yellow in and even though it's the same amount of fill, it, it kind of doesn't look as overpowering as it did with two pinks in there. Now I am going to there are some flowers at Hobby Lobby. I was there yesterday, but they weren't on sale. And I don't buy them. You know, they're on sale every other week. Their sales rotate. So there was one kind of flower. I took the basket with me and put flowers in to try it. And it was kind of, the flowers were this dark red. And it wouldn't be as bushy and filling. So I, I still have the tags on these and I still have the receipts. I may be returning them and getting the dark red ones from Hobby Lobby, but I'll have to go in this week while they're on sale. Um, they're 40% off this week, but here it is. You can see it close up. It is stitched one over two. I almost always stitch one over two. And there it is. And I love it. Now that I've finished it, these are just random placement. They are, excuse me I didn't go like what color am I supposed to use or where am I supposed to place them I just need it to fill in that area because it came out at the bottom but there was nothing here so I need it to and in the pattern it does show numbers there but 
so I just kind of randomly put them in. I didn't like count squares for placement and stuff. I just put them in there. And so that is that, The Egg Collector by Teresa Kogut. So if you don't want to do a big design, but you like part of it, just pick the part that you want and do that. Um, you know, it says, well, let me get that out of the way. It says spring, and then it's got the flower and the salt box house, but they're really not as important to the design, as, to me, they're not, as the bunny and the tree because she's cutting eggs off the tree so I am super happy with my finish and now I like it and I don't want to give it away <laughs> and I don't want to throw it away because now I really like it but I'm not so sure about all this bushiness at the top so um, I'll put a picture at the end um, of the video that's just a still shot of it on this cabinet back here so you can see it better so that is it um like I said, I'm getting ready for the retreat. I've got lots of patriotic stitching to do because then I'll decide they're all smalls. Probably the sheep is the most stitching. Um, then I'll decide which one I'm going to give away. And then another one, one of the ones that I don't use in the smalls exchange, I think is going to be a door prize that I will just randomly pick a name at the retreat and hand it out. So I think that's it, everybody. Um, oh, Wednesday, uh, I think it's going to be two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're still um, waiting to hear back from one more person, but I know for sure that um, Rhonda from Asbury Echoes is going to join me and we're going to do a live stream. So we're going to chit chat with Rhonda and her son, Drew, and I have invited one other person to that's a designer to do it with us and I'm waiting to hear back from her. So um, look for that thumbnail because as soon as I get it, set up, I'll post it. And then you can click on, send me a reminder and it'll email you when we go live. And if your notifications are on, if you click that little bell, you're subscribed and you click that little bell for notifications, you'll get a notification to remind you too. Or you can set an alarm on your phone or put it on your calendar or whatever. But Wednesday at two o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this coming Wednesday, we're going to do a live stream. I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be short, but, um, uh, and a message is just coming through from the other person saying she may be able to. So let's hope that works. Um, so we'll see you on Wednesday. Don't forget to comment. So the question this week, and somebody asked me, why do I always have a question? The question is to start conversation. YouTube likes interaction. And for the algorithm for to promote my channel more, if there's a lot of interaction, they'll promote it more. Um, and interaction is hitting the thumbs up. If you're watching on TV, I know you can't comment, but you can hit the thumbs up and, and commenting and subscribing. So if I ask a question, it gives you something to talk about in the comments. It gives you something to comment about. So my question this week is, are you decorating for spring already? Or are you still hanging on to winter? I see, as you can see here, I've still got my snowmen up and I won't be changing them. And there's more up there. I won't be changing them out until sometime in March. And it may be after I get back from my Pennsylvania trip, because then it'll be the beginning of spring. So um, not this next weekend, but the weekend after that, I'll be in Gaffney, South Carolina with a group of ladies that will be sewing. And then the middle of March is the retreat. And then I head to Pennsylvania, to Lancaster. So I will see you all on the next video. If you don't make it to the live, I'll see you next week on Floss 2. Bye, everybody.